Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Awoki, and I'm back with some fake grand order. Today I'm going to be grinding. It's time to go west, and there's only six days left, and this is one of the most grindy events in the world. Um, so let me first show off the two teams. Now because it's so... Oh, hello. Hello, Da Vinci. I hit the wrong thing, so I'm going to have to ask you to be quiet. Um... Uh, this one's called Strawberries because I couldn't think of a better name. I should change it to... Um... Talisman? Talus. Okay. Okay. So this is the team I'm using to farm Talisman. Is it the greatest team in the world? No, but it's the team I'm using. Um, of course we've got... Arash, the number one dude who's here for all grinding. If you don't have him built up to at least even fully bronzed out, then you're missing out on one of the most useful tools for grinding in Fate in general. And then we got Ninja Boy here. Ninja Boy. Ninja Boy. Fuma. I tried to remember his last name. I could not say it. It's Evil Wind. Then we got Bunyan. Then we have Yorel. And then we have King David. And they're basically here just to be in the back. They don't really provide much other than they're there. And using the talisman we will then use this other team which is all purpose and in this one we have of course Arash, we have Summer Nobu, Quetzalcoatl, David, and uh, Song Zong who's actually these two are here to serve a purpose. But let's start with talisman. So we'll start with the talisman node. I think I've in essence have this node on lockdown. Um, there's very little RNG that can happen to me. So here's the thing. There's two nodes. I'm going to be focusing on one of them. One of them is... Um, what's the... Okay, so these orbs, you have to collect orbs from this stage right here. And in the stage where you use orbs, you use it in here. The main stage you farm is this one. Um... The 151 you only do once, but after this point you do only do this one because you want to get lotuses. The lotuses help you get um, the farm CD, but then also golden foes and stuff like that. And there's another good other good stuff like that, um, materials, a crystallized lore, stuff like that. Uh, that's not the only <laughs> material you have to grind for. There's also talismans. And then talismans, basically what you do is that you get a bunch of talismans from here and then you grind this stage. Now this stage requires 100 talismans to actually grind, similar how this stage requires 140 orbs to grind. Um, so that's why we're going to jump right here. First I'm going to actually go in here because this is the important one. I'll we'll just use some bronze fruit just to show off this team. And this is basically what I've been doing. Um, I need to find a waiver friend. And this is why this... Um, specific one is super annoying is I need a waiver with the talisman CE equipped um, and sometimes they show up and sometimes they don't and I'm looking right now for in order to maximize my grind and I need one with a plus two on it which is very unfortunate because I'm not getting any of the plus two ones right now plus one's perfectly fine but um, I need plus two man here it is. And you can tell it's plus two because of the little thing right there. So we're going to use Rue. Go in here. David and Steno. It's not Steno. Yoriel. See no play here whatsoever. They're only here to just kind of sit in the back and be pretty. Um, yeah. That's basically all they do. And of course, this is the three term node. So I try my best to three turn it. Sometimes it takes four. But for the most part, they all take three. It's pretty, uh, it's not the most <laughs> hardest thing to understand. I say in a very weird way, I guess. Yeah, so this first node never matters. I do sometimes try and get some crit stuff to help with um, Puma stuff later. Um, it's not necessary, I just like doing it. Um, mainly because like there's no real reason to get the crit stars in the beginning. I just like doing it, I don't know. Arash dies. Goodbye, Arash. I hope I'm saying it right. There's Arish and there's Arash. Arish Arash. Anyway. And then here's Bunyan. I'm also justifying this Bunyan helping with the grind as the reason why I have Song Zong in Bunyan's clothes. Don't question me. I just like using good art. 
There you go. Now this is very bad, because uh, now we have a very good chance of screwing up the next rotation. I activated that on him so he can get a bonus of getting more crit stars. Uh, you try and get as much crit as you can on this one. Immortal Chaos Braid, you also hear the agony, he summons a bunch of ninja, the ninja fuck him up. And he goes off. Perfect. 32 crit stars, that's not bad. Now, what we want here, the perfect thing is to have two Bunyan um, Busters. At least one Bunyan Buster is good enough, actually, I think. Um, let's see if we were able to get it. Perfect! Oh my god, could not be perfect. Could not be more perfect. So from this point on, we do here. Now, because she is a Berserker, I do have a specific C. Okay, yes, yeah, so you already see a problem here. Gonna try and spread it out more to her. Perfect, we have two at level 100. I'm gonna use Sabotage B just in case they do survive. Put one here, put one here, put one there. And that should be all she wrote for this specific um, stage. She's gonna hit the dragon, deals half its damage. The reason I hit the dragon is because um, the dragon will survive with just a little bit of HP. Um, so it's just easier to do it this way. <laughs> There's the uh, that's the long and the short of it, especially with double crit stuff. And she easily takes care of that node. Bunyan, another great farmer, one of the best farmers. I so good. I actually try and not use her as much as I do, but it seems kind of silly not to use the fully grailed out servant that you have. So there you go. Let's see, then you get talisman drops. You also get a little bit of the orb drops. This is not the best place to farm orbs, so I don't bother with any orb farming on this specific stage. Um, that's a later one for another video, I guess, when I go back to grinding this damn stage. Because there's just so much. Man, so much grinding. I don't know what teams you use for grinding, but these are... What you see here are basically my essentials here. Um, mainly because I don't really use that much different. Anyway, let's go into this stage right here. Now for this one... Um... <laughs> We actually need a dude with, um, well, we don't need one, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Any, um, waiver. If he has this specific CE, the better, but if he doesn't, it's fine. Now, for this node, it's weird because usually in nodes like this, in events, the node that gives you all the material is the worst, but there are occasionally events where the ones that give you everything are the best. Uh, in this case, this one. So, yeah. So in this team, gonna jump right in. Again, David and Sung Zong will not see any play whatsoever. It's just gonna be the first four. Now the thing that does kind of suck for this one is that, um, let me show the event servants. Cause the event servants are not great for what we need specifically. <laughs> Like, uh, specifically the nodes, they're just not super great. Spe the, the ones specifically we need here are any of the, uh, any of the members who were actually in the story. So, um, Lu Bu, for example, uh, Lee is another unit that can right here, Immortal Peaches. Um, but they end up not being super great for this node and I'll show why. The reason is, is that the final boss is a double stager. Um, and it's really actually kind of tough using the units you have because one one is Karna and the other one is Arjuna. So there's no way to get, you have to use a Lancer, I guess, but the there is no Lancer that gives you, there is a Lancer, it's Lee, but Lee isn't strong enough, at least from when I, how I use him. He's not strong enough to take them both on at the same time. Because basically here's what you need to do is that one person has to take us to kill the other one. So let's first, let me do this. Activate this. Okay, then I'm gonna try and get... There you go. The reason that um, I use this Nobu, by the way, is because she is anti-divine. If the other Nobu, which is the free-to-play one, the, the archer one, wasn't weak to Lance, I would also use that one because she's also weak to divine. All Nobus are, um, are anti-divine, I should say, not weak to divine. Um, but how does this get screwed up? Very easily. The answer is, if anything, basically I need Nobu to not get any Buster cards in this specific roundup. If I do, it kind of complicates things. All right, not bad. Only one, so that's not the worst. So I'm gonna use this. Quetz is gonna 100% rough up this man. She is 100 level 100. 
I'm actually not going to use Charisma, because if I do, she's going to one-shot him with her um, NP, which is what I don't want. Go here. Uh, it should deal around 90,000. If I'm unlucky, she'll deal all exactly enough that I need, but she shouldn't. You need more height. The reason I don't want her to kill him is because I actually need her to create crit stars in the back. Damn it, she actually killed him. Gotta be kidding me. I also gave her the wrong thing. I completely screwed this up. I gave her the thing that I meant to give to Nobu. <laughs> Well, I'm going to do one more round of this one just to show what I what I mean. That's unfortunate. I was just thinking. I wouldn't have mattered because this, this is big dookie butt. Big dookie butt is what I'm saying about this one. Use this. Increase her buster. Oops. I, is it only one turn? No, it's three turns, thank god. Okay, so... I'll use this right here. Should be fine. It should hopefully, I should be able to kill next turn. In theory. But let's see. Yeah. Screw you both. Hate you both. I hate fighting both of them because of this node. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Now, obviously, the reason that um, Quetz is very strong, but there's a big problem. She takes all the crit stars. But it's fine, because if I use this specific. Um, Mystic outfit, then Nobu can get some of them. See, she was able to get 80%. It's a, I think at level 8 that I have it, it's an 8,500% increase to specifically only Buster cards. So let me go here. So that should be enough to kill. Arjuna should die from this uh, Noble Phantasm, and then Karna will die right afterwards. And this is 4 turns, so not that bad considering I screwed up right at the beginning. Yeah. It's the most metal of all NPs, by the way. Oh, that no, Man, nice. And again, I like using her because she's anti. Did she really miss both crits? Are you kidding me? You had 80% on one of your good things, girl. You gotta be kidding me. Don't. <laughs> don't. Don't play with me, girl. Don't. You did not just miss on 80%. Oh, God. Here's the other thing that's, um, I should say, I should mention the CE, and then I'm gonna run that back one more time just to show that I can three-turn it. I'm gonna try and three-turn it, at least. Um, because I like showing that I can three-turn it. I can definitely three-turn it, but, um, I don't know. I, there, there are definitely better units I could just place instead of Nobu, but I kind of like the, the big, dumb roster that I have, so I kind of like using, <gasps> ooh, this one's perfect. So I use this CE with my Nobu which is the Fondant a Chocolat. Uh, it applies 30% special attack to Divine at the beginning of the battle, and she gets a MP charge of 50%, which is why she was able to deal so much damage to um, Arjuna and um, Karna, because they're both Divine. So that's also why I dealt like 300, and also she's NP too, but that's also why I deal so much damage with my um, Noble Phantasm. If you try and use the <laughs> Nobu one against someone who doesn't have um, Divine, she doesn't deal a lot of damage. It's actually very sad, the amount of damage he does not deal. But to be fair, I think all Nobus kind of suffer from that. That's why so many people don't like Avenger Nobu. Um, but then there's a whole bunch of bosses that have Divine, so it ends up being like, she's super strong, she's super good, I don't know why y'all tripping now. But whatever. You go against what people feel, and uh, they attack you for it. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boom. Stella! I love Stella so much. I love Arash. I wish there was an Arash that was like, um, uh, <laughs> a five star, but, um, he kept the same Noble Phantasm. Basically, I want another Arash so I can have another unit that, um, kills himself after he uses a Noble Phantasm. Um, we have Chen Gong, but Chen, I want to say, kills your party members and not himself, and that's not what I'm really going for. Okay, let me see if I remember this time. So the reason why I said I screwed up last time giving um, Quetz that, that move that I just gave to Nobu is because she can already give herself 30% from that. So again, not going to use any anything and hope that she doesn't deal over 100,000. She usually doesn't, um, but sometimes she does, which is very annoying. I need around 90,000. Okay, come on, Quetz. Come on, do it. Please. Yes, I think she did not kill him. 
Perfect. Good girl. Yeah. That would have been better if I had a crit thing, but any little bit amount of crit stars helps. Um, also, why I'm getting so much is that my Nobu has the her skill 2 at maximum, so I get the most crit stars I can from it. Okay, let's see. Now I just need one Buster card from Nobu, and we should be fine. Oh, we got double! Hmm, that might actually be kind of bad. Uh, because if there's two, <laughs> there's a very good chance she splits them. So, let's see. Go here. Let's see the split after doing that. Hmm. Go here. Let's see how it is now. That's perfect. Girl, you should be able to kill. But I swear, if you do not kill this man, if you do not crit with both 90% busters, I think I'm actively going to cry at the end of this video. You got this, though. So good. I love this MP. So good. Okay, come on. Okay, perfect. Order, order, order. Kicks the shit out of me. Perfect. That's all I needed from you, girl. Wonderful. And that's it. So yeah, it's kind of what I've been doing. I'll do another video for the other thing, just because I like showing my. I just like showing myself grinding. I play a lot of this game, by the way, <laughs> and a lot of it is just me grinding. It's not like um, I guess what a lot of other people do, which is try and like think of interesting teams. I only care about like interesting ways to like um, return it with whatever units I have. That's actually what I care about most, which I hear later on in Fate Grand Order. It's actually very hard to three turn stuff, and that makes me sad. But you know, whatever. And as you can see here, I got some more stuff. Hello, David. Stop talking. Okay. Let me see. Can I get anything yet? Um, no, no, it doesn't really look like it. I got bones. What was I using this on? Yeah, I can get the last of this. So yeah, that's... That's go west, man. I hope everyone else is having some pretty good um, farming stuff out there. And this is the end of this video until I make another one of these videos for the other note. <laughs> Alright everyone, I'm Woki and this has been another Fake Grand Order video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.